Hi everyone, Mark Pichurchi here. I want to show you a cool little tool from Autodesk Labs. If you go to Internet Explorer, you can type in labs.autodesk.com. This will take you to the main home page. When you're there, you can click on Tools for Architecture and Engineering. And right at the very top is a cool little program for Autodesk Showcase called Augmented Reality. What this does, this allows you to take your real model and apply it to a video of a real space in time. If you want to download the program in the upper right hand corner you'll see the nice big green button over here it says download now. Go ahead and download it if you need some help installing it there is a PDF file with instructions on how to install it. What I'm going to go ahead and do is go to my Autodesk Revit and what I'm going to show you is a 3D model that I downloaded from Autodesk Seek. All this furniture I downloaded from Seek. I haven't done anything to it except downloaded it. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and move this over into Showcase. Using the Revit 2013 suite, I can go ahead and click on the suite workflow and right here I have a button that says Showcase Realistic Presentation. And What this will do is this will take my model and insert it into Autodesk Showcase. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to my Autodesk Showcase program. And what you're going to see here on the screen is my model as it appears in Showcase. I haven't done anything inside of Showcase. This is my model. I go ahead and click on it and I can get an isometric view. I can go ahead and spin it around. And this is what it looks like in Showcase. The materials were already in here. I haven't done anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start this AR mode. And this is my augmented reality program that I just downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and set up a marker and I, go ahead, I went ahead and created a marker so I'm going to go ahead and select Applied Software Professional Services logo and I'm going to hit the open button and what I'm going to do is I'm going to relate my model to this object. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that button I'm going to select my model and I'm going to hit choose and add selection to and I'll just wait a minute here and what you're going to see is it's going to take that logo and it's going to apply it or that sheet of paper it's going to apply it underneath my model it detected the paper size and it related it to my model so it made it bigger and so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and hit the enable button now this is reminding me a few things before it turns on my webcam but it's reminding me as far as to change the background for Autodesk Showcase make sure my model's imported and then associate my model with the marker. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and in just a second here it's going to go ahead and open up Showcase uh, excuse me, open up my um, webcam. What you're looking at here is my hand but notice as I pull my hand out there is the model that was in Showcase. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn this around. Notice the shadow, the lighting that is coming from Showcase also shows up here. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up and move this a little bit closer to the camera and we can turn this around and I'll go ahead and just put this right back down. So as you can see, pretty cool stuff on Autodesk Labs.